guys welcome to another video of r19 robin the greatest channel on earth as i say so myself and today we're gonna discuss a little bit about my gti cars it has quite a lot of damage parts even though it's a pretty cool looking car but it has some problems on the bodywork today i'm gonna tell you everything about that in this video Yes, but before I'm gonna discuss everything about my broken car, I have to turn the camera around because something has arrived to my house and I'm pretty excited for it. Yes, as you can see, the wooden plates have arrived. Four big wooden plates from this size. We still have to cut them on the right size because these are actually the plates for this, as you can see. Those wooden planks or plates are gonna be all over the side from there and can't reach there but also over there and this over here. So we're actually gonna start, I think I'm gonna start tomorrow for building so that's gonna happen really soon. So we're gonna break down the garage, well it's not gonna fall apart, just get rid of those wooden planks. A harder part is to get this plate off because as you can see this plate goes all the way from there to there and yeah we need to get rid of that so this concrete pole i have to dig a hole for that um, and this is going into the ground on top of that this wooden pole is going to be there just like these poles over here it's where the roof is gonna be up yeah we have to still cut this on the right side as well so that is that another update on the garage feel like I'm doing quite a lot of updates on the garage lately. Now it's time for the main focus of this video. It's time to check out all the damage and there are quite a lot of points that I have to talk about because it has some damages on the, on the car. So let me show you guys. So let's start at the front of the car. Um, actually start at the front bumper. Actually the front bumper is not that bad. Not a lot of stone chips. Yeah it's really dirty. It always, always with the flies they just burned into my paint especially in the summer a lot of bugs are just splashing to that at my front bumper yeah in the summer the sun is really bright and it's really hot outside so it burns into my paint and yeah that sucks a little bit so i have to polish that somehow to fix the whole paint of the car well it's it's not the worst part of the car actually the front lip it's it's kind of all right but it, it has some scratches on here as well and I don't know if you guys can see it but yeah it has some scratches on the there as well and some ch stone chips as well you don't really see it unless you focus on it, it it's all right for now but it, it's not super clean looking if you really focus on it but you don't really see it from a distance like over here then you don't see all the damage on my front bumper and my Volkswagen emblem yeah it's loose as you can see I tried to change it with a black one like two times on this channel. I also made a few I also made two videos about that, but it all went wrong. The fitting of the black emblems just wasn't that good. It wasn't just like the factory ones. I, I sort of got scammed. Yeah, I, I still have the black emblems and I'm gonna put them on soon, I, I think. When I tried to take this off, um, one of the plastic hooks that are in here, there are like three plastic hooks on there and the top one broke off because there's one hook over here, one over here and one over here. But it's it's not a big problem, you don't really see it. It's still on as you can see and I don't really like chrome. I mean the, the letters are alright, I have some red letters for this as well. But yeah, I want to change this because a black emblem just looks way more aggressive on this car. Then I already talked about the paint on the front bumper, but the paint on this whole car is just... Yeah, you don't really see it now in the sunlight. Maybe I can get a flashlight out for you. I don't know if you guys can see, but nah, my car is too dirty to show you guys. But when my car is clean, you see some scratches on the paint. And 
it's actually really dirty now but probably yeah the previous owner took it into the car washes so that's mainly the reason why it has scratches all over it yeah unfortunately the previous owner of this car um, didn't really care about the paint and all the other stuff and come back on this later yeah she didn't really care about it just took to the car wash and stuff like that it didn't have any protective film or something like that it's just a gti so i can understand that i think you know what i mean but all the little scratches on the paint in the sunlight it's just not a nice look so you can polish that out it, i should polish that out i have some stuff right there but on to the next part that has been damaged and for that we actually need to go to the interior Yes, maybe you already seen it in my POV videos or some other videos, I don't know. But the middle console, yes, as you can see, scratches all over it. It's just so ugly. I don't know why, but it's probably because of stuff that the previous owner put in there. So yeah, it's now really dirty as well. So I have to clean the whole interior as well. But yes, it, it's just been damaged really bad. Luckily, it's the only part in, in the interior that has been damaged. I don't know how hard it's gonna to be to uh, take it out and remove the whole DSG shifter and the knob and stuff like that. Yeah, I was actually looking for carbon fiber parts for this and then for the whole interior, of course. Yeah, carbon fiber just looks cool on this car. I, I gotta change this cause it's really ugly. It's I can't say anything good about it cause it's just so ugly. It just got scratches all over it. So there are quite a lot of things damaged on my car and we're not even halfway yet, so let's go on to the other part that's been damaged, unfortunately. And the next part are my wheels. Oh yes, my wheels. Every wheel has been scratched all over the place from all the curbs and stuff like that. All my four wheels have been damaged. This one is pretty alright. It only has these scratches right there. And actually the Volkswagen logos, I have to change that as well. Because look at this. It's just super ugly. Um, scratches and I don't know the color is a little bit gone this one is pretty bad as well and this one I made a video about this on how I damaged my whole wheel especially this wheel because I f***ed it up really bad on this one so if you haven't checked it out please check it out because <laughs> yeah it, it was really bad and also I have to paint my Brembo my Brembo brakes Yes, my Brembo brakes. Yeah, cause the red is a little bit gone. It's just super dirty. Yeah, the paint is just gone over there. Probably gonna respray that someday. Gonna restore the Brembo brakes together with the wheels. And then let's move on to the back of the car. I think this is the worst part of them all. Now I think the wheels are the worst. That's a relatively easy fix. Just put some different wheels on there. But yeah, the back is really bad. I don't know why and what the previous owner did. No, it's not my fault. Don't roast me in the comments or anything. Only, only that wheel was my fault, okay? I, I admit that. Yeah, to the rear bumper. I don't know which angle I should choose, but yeah, I went to the garage with it and they said it just couldn't fix it. It was a little bit worse than it is now. Yeah, it was just a big hole in there was just a big hole in there they just glued it together i don't know i don't even know what they did to it to be honest they just closed this hole somehow and yeah and painted it over or i don't know what they did but it, it doesn't look good i i yeah it looks really bad and um, i really want to get rid of this but you don't really see it only when you focus it because it's a black car so you don't really notice it but I think if I'm gonna put a wrap someday on this thing, um, yeah, I have to change the whole rear bumper because you just can't fix that type of damage to it. So I have to get a whole another rear bumper if I wanna get rid of that. And yeah, that's costing quite a lot of money. And yeah, also on the rear bumper, these are my parking sensors. As you can see, uh, this one as well, um, my rear parking sensors are damaged. Sometimes they work and sometimes they just don't work. They just give up on me so i don't really trust on my parking sensors now i also got some parking sensors in the front uh, those are still working so i'm always looking through my back window when i'm parking my parking sensors are just f now as well because when i wash the car i just sprayed a little bit too hard on my parking sensors i guess and after that day after i washed it my parking sensors were just dead after a few months they just started to work and sometimes they do work and sometimes they're not i have to fix that as well also my rear bumper here close to the boot yeah i can open this it's just damaged it's just scratches all over the place 
Even there, this is a big scratch. This is a big scratch. Also here, around the emblem, just some scratches as well. It's just rubbish, my car. Yeah, this also looks alright from a distance, but if you really focus on it, yeah, it's it's just it's just so it's just shit looking. They're also over here by my door handle, as you guys can see. Just scratches all over the place. I don't know what the previous owner did. I think she just took her keys and then just hey, like this and scratch it all over. So I don't know. It's just to ruin the GTI. I don't know. Maybe she wanted a new one from her husband and scratched it all over and said it was broken. I don't know. But it's just it just has scratches all over the place. And also some people on the streets are saying that my exhaust is broken my exhaust is not broken if you really think that it's just way too loud and people are commenting every day like it's broken or it just sucks my exhaust way too loud this and that no my exhaust is not broken yeah it's tuning i guess but that is that quite a lot of damage as you can see if i want to fix everything it's probably gonna cost me like over 2000 euros Yes, that's quite a lot of money and I don't know if I'm gonna fix everything. I don't know if I'm gonna fix all of it, but probably the things that are the worst, such as the wheels. I'm all gonna do it when the garage is finished. I'm gonna do some more mods as well, but I'm actually planning on finishing the garage within now in a few weeks. At least closing all the, the gaps and putting a garage door in it. So I can work on the car and the whole design can come later but when i close all the holes and fix the garage door and stuff like that i'm planning on doing more mods to the gti so it's not gonna take super long soon there will be more mods to the gti if you don't want to miss that subscribe to my channel just just subscribe to my channel but today was not a lot of driving unfortunately actually there was no driving only me putting my car over here because i feel like i'm driving way too much and on the same roads in my videos I don't know if you guys like that, just let me know, uh, every feedback is welcome. It's just to make my videos a little bit better, so don't be afraid to comment on what you want to see next in the videos. Yeah, I want to leave it like this, I think I talked enough for today, so I hope you guys like a video like this as well. With that having said, if you like this video, please leave a like, also drop a comment and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on my socials, TikTok and Instagram, r90robin, and with that having said guys, out. I've been a student and she get to jumping. Niggas ain't really on nothing. Stop from the ground and I brought it to something. Niggas gonna hate cause them niggas be frontin'. When he see me, that boy get to dunkin'. Yeah, tell him all of my niggas be bustin'. Ain't about the money, they end the discussion. A black emblem just looks way more aggressive on the scar. And chrome is a little bit for, I don't know, old people. <laughs>